Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. Recently I went with a fellow club member to look at some wood and obtained some. In the process we cut off the end of a log that was hollow and to see where the hollow ended and see what good wood was there. Uh, in the end we got the wood but the guy threw in the hollow portion that we'd cut off because when we cut it off what we found inside were two sets of nails in the wood. Don't know if you can see the other set in here. Ah, so we brought it home. I think he just wanted to get it out of his lot because he'd have to dispose of it anyway. When we got it home I thought, well can I turn that after all? Uh, how do I do it? I don't have a chuck big enough or I don't have a small chuck small enough. How do I do that? I can't go between centers. So in the end what I did was to cut a form, trace the percent of it was hollow, I traced the inside and then carved out a plate, glued it to another plate, made one for the top, one for the bottom, and then mounted it between centers. In the end, it yielded this beautiful box elder with the natural coloring. This color is all natural to the box elder. And yes, there's one of those nails that would otherwise be a, be a nasty thing to hit when you're turning. But I figure it, if it's a defect, I can turn it into a feature. Fortunately, it did not protrude through to this side and ruin a tool. So let's turn this impossible piece that I will now call Woody's Nemesis. The first task is to saw the section of the hollow log that contains the nail. My electric chainsaw is great for rough sign tasks inside the shop, except for the concrete floor and lack of a stand. I settled for my wood stand from the lathe and dealt with the wobble. I have to watch out that the log does not tip, watch out that I do not hit the nail, watch out that I don't damage my stand, and watch out that I don't saw my leg. Most importantly, my leg. Then trace the inside of the hollow log to make my face plates. I also cut away some of the excess wood on the bandsaw. Now that the wood is mounted to my lathe, this could get interesting. The wood is very out of balance, so I have to go slow. That besides the fact that there is a nail somewhere in that wood. I could hit it at any time. So I'm proceeding to nibble away at the wood. Fortunately, my wood faceplates are disposable. I'm finding that I need to continue my cut through the plywood edge. Plywood is tough to turn. Too much glue and too much end grain. As I cut away the old stinky sapwood, the beautiful reddish wood shows up nicely. Still, I don't know how far to go or when the opposite end of that nail will appear. Little by little, I work the wood down. Despite the cracks in the wood, it is still holding together, and no nail has showed up yet. Let's go a bit thinner and expose more reddish wood. But the nagging thoughts are, how far can I go? And when will this blow up? And where is that nail? I do stop to check my thickness. Let's go a bit further. It hasn't blown up yet. I had thought that I could even out the top and the bottom to be parallel. No, 
There, they must serve as is with only a thorough sanding. I'm giving this box elder a bath in walnut oil. Walnut oil is about the only thing I know of that I can apply to the rotten and wormy parts as well as the smooth wood and look nice. Later, I'll make a stand out of other pieces of the box elder to make this piece show off better. Well, it did not blow up and I never did hit the other end of that nail. Even with my full face shield, I was nervous turning this piece. However, it is worth it. Pieces like this cannot be planned. I just can't purchase the right wood. When I see a piece like this, it is carpe diem or nothing. I'll probably never find another log like this with a nail poking into the rotten interior. Usually I just find nails with my tools. Too late. This piece is unique and I'll keep it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends, and send me your comments and questions. Every week, I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield, especially on this sort of project. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.